Welcome to this exclusive edition of Battleground Reconnaissance. As a thank you for pre-ordering Command & Conquer 3 Kane's Wrath, we're going to take a look at eight of our new multiplayer maps and show you their secrets. Now the first five of these maps are still early in development and haven't been named yet, so let's take a look. This is a new yellow zone for three players. Player one starts with a medium green tib field with easy access to a tib spike in the center of the map. Player two does not have easy access to the center, but instead starts with two fields and two spikes. The third and final player starts just like player one. In the middle of the map are two tib spikes in a blue field. Dead center is an EMP overlooking player two's base. It's protected by two turrets and a few garrisonable buildings, so expect it to be an early spot of contention. Here we have a blue zone in a metropolitan area centered around a park. The map's for four players, with two starting in the city and two starting in the park. Every player has a blue Tiberium field. In the center of the park is an expansive green Tiberium field with two spikes and two expansion points. Each metropolitan area has many garrisonable buildings to act as a buffer zone between players. Additionally, there's an EMP control center between player one and player two start locations. This peninsula can accommodate three competitors. The first thing most players will notice is that all three starting green fields are attached to a center blue field. This connects all of the bases for harvester harassment and vehicle assault. Behind each starting position is an EMP control center. This map is unique because each player has one. Also in the starting area is a protected green field. The buffer zone between players is three small cities, each with two turrets, a tib spike, lots of garrisonable buildings, and a small green expansion field. Players start in the corners at a small green field on this four-player blue zone map. Each edge has a bluff protecting two more green fields and a blue field that grows slowly as the game progresses. The center of the map is fairly small, with lots of desirable tech structures and garrisonable buildings. There are four tip spikes, an EMP, and four expansion points that will actually give you ground control in your enemy's starting area. Up to six players can fight over this completely decimated red zone. The first starting position is between two fields, one blue and one green. The second has just one green field, an EMP, and easy access to the center. Finally, the third position has an EMP, a green field, and a tip spike. The other side of the map is a mirror image. The center of the map has three more green expansion fields on each side. This map is a red zone, so expect to have plenty of income. Down the middle are six tip spikes and three damaged bridges. Now let's take a look at some maps that are a little farther along. Four players start in the corners of this yellow zone map, each on a very protected plateau with a starting green Tiberium field. There are additional green fields on the north and south edges. Center stage is a huge green field in the middle of this Chinese port town. There are two EMPs and two tip spikes around this field. A collection of damaged garrisonable buildings make up the center of this map. There are two more tip spikes at the dock to the west. This map is unique because there are small patches of green and blue Tiberium everywhere. It's for four players with starting positions on either side of this ridge. Two of the corners have a blue field and two green fields each to fight over, protected by several bunkers. Since your harvesters will be gathering Tiberium all over the map, they will be extra vulnerable to harassment. The other corners have two tip spikes each and a few empty garrisonable buildings. There are two more tib spikes in the center of this map, certain to be early points of contention. This is a four-player snow-covered map set in Russia. In addition to the starting fields, there are four more green expansion fields in the corners and four small blue fields sunken into the ground slightly towards the center of the map. The ridge surrounding these blue fields provides a great location to station your infantry. Midfield is a subway hub that connects to four isolated plateaus with two tip spikes each. The only other way your opponents could steal them is by using call for transport. Well, I hope you enjoyed this sneak peek at some of the 20 plus new maps available in Kane's Wrath when it ships this March. And be sure to check out www.commandandconquer.com for the latest up to the second information and Command and Conquer TV programming.